Another new mobile phone day. So now I've started with the iPhone. Um, so we'll see how this is. See if this is as good quality as a Pixel. Here, playing on his little phone. He's here, smiling, look. He'll be taking piss because I've been on, been back to iPhone. He's always been on him. But he's always had fancy stuff. Look at his car, Mr. Fancy. Uh, we are milling a few oats today. We had about eight or nine ton left to, to process. That's what Andy's been doing. Look at him, keeping busy there, sweeping up. <laughs> Yeah. So far, pretty impressed with this phone. So with the oats, I'm to mill them a bit slower. So. Yeah, looks like you're making a tidy job. Andy, what phone do you like best? Samsung. Ash? IPhone. I'm not, I don't know. Google? I wish that that one would have worked, but anyway, it doesn't. So I've had to go back to the dark side of the iPhone. Oh. So the TM is getting dusty today, just to add a bit of another layer of muck to it. Yeah, let's have a look how bad it's actually got. Yeah, yeah, it's fairly dusty. Needs some valitors on it. We need a little bit slower, so what we're going to do is just increase the speed a little bit. Make a difference. What we got driving down here? Watch out, get your eye vis on people. M's about. Just been cleaning some muck up on top of the drive, I think. How are we doing, M? I've got my mister's phone now. <laughs> I'm just going to get a bit of scraping up done, try and make everywhere a bit cleaner, um, while Andy gets that uh, last bit of milling done, and Em will just be doing a few of the smaller places for me, yeah, pretty steady away really. Took some setting up though, this iPhone. Messing about trying to get things back across. But I suppose that's just what you've got to do. Um, so yeah, just try and make everywhere a bit cleaner. Is the plan. We've got some um, parts back in for the muck spreader. My dad's just gone to pick up now from Farm Start. So hopefully in the next few days we should have two muck spreaders up and running. We're ready to go. Keep our local arable farmers happy. We can spread the muck. Pick the bucket up and just get rid of some of that slop that we've uh, accumulated. Apologies for my camera skills. Um, but yeah, tip it in the tip it in the trailer, ready to take to the field when it gets a bit nicer. We'll try and get this in here without getting everything covered in slop. Oh lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Alright, go and get a bit more now. Making my job easier again, putting pipes on for me. Don't have to get off seat. Fantastic. I think I'm going to have to get off seat because M says it's not. Hang on. Working buttons. Is that any better? Oh. Who would blame him for that? Ash or me? Ash last night, wasn't it? been me but I'm gonna blame Ash. 
It was definitely Ash. I'm, I'm going to tell him on YouTube it was Ash. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'll be honest, I got bored of scraping round. It's a bit wet and I just seemed to be taking forever. So I thought, right, I'll do something a bit more constructive. I'll go and la load this trailer up with straw. So that's my plan. And we're going to the top. For once. Let's check these. I've not operated my tines yet, so I just want to make sure I locked the pins off. Can't be too careful when you're going up there. It says. It's quite nice at this stack site though because um, the ground's not too unlevel, so it's not too bad. See them bailed beneath are just moving towards me a little bit, so I weren't quite high enough. But I just want to be tickling, tickling those in front. So that if at any point I need to just drop it, I can. Right, so now I've got most of my bales out. I'll start pulling it down while I'm stood still. I don't know if you can tell all the rocking motion, but there's a fair bit of weight in them bales. I retract the boom all the way in because that keeps the center of gravity as close to the machine as possible. And then I start lowering it and then I'll probably have to back up for the last last little bit because it normally catches on them bottom bales. Always keeping close to the stack so that if for whatever reason we decide to drop forward these bales will just crash into the other bales and hopefully I wouldn't destroy anything. So yeah anyway back on to fill in this trailer up. I would do this, I could just keep ferrying them round but it's a little bit quicker and works a bit better if I just fill the trailer and then when Andy finishes milling and drops that tractor off he can just come and pick this up and take it round and then we've got enough bales for a couple of days. Jobs are good in. Right, next little clip I'll show you, hopefully the trailer will be full. A few people asking how much waste we got storing the bales outside. We're in middle of January now, and we've got what, one or two bands there. You can see the, the water's penetrated it and made it rotten. Um, if we left them out all year, the top bale would be yeah, completely destroyed. But the thoughts were when we put the barn up there at the back, that holds the straw for the sort of latter part of the year where we would be getting most of the uh, weather and I mean these bales in a normal year would already be gone by now but um, we probably got a little bit more straw this year than uh, than we have in previous so we're just still getting through it a bit but yeah that's it I mean we'd, we'd hope for no waste at all but if we'd have had a shed to cover all the straw we'd now have a shed that's mostly empty and not really have a use for it so we, we handle a little bit of waste just to not have an open space with, with nothing to do. I mean, we could put some cattle in it, I suppose, but when the sheds are that tall, it's, yeah, a bit more a bit more work. We'd have to put concrete panels around it and stuff. And Yeah, so, anyway, I'm rambling on, but that's how much waste we have. There we go. It's all nice and full. Ready to take it down into the yard. I'll just grab three bales and take them down with me. And the cows should be happily bedded up for a couple of days then. Let's come back down to the house because big mixed daughter, Lauren, has come to chop my hair and my beard probably as well. Try and make me look a bit more presentable. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. Come off. Sorted there. Lauren? I can see you in the mirror. <laughs> now I've got that sorted. Better go back out and find out what everyone's up to. 
I'd have thought we've nearly got finished now. It's getting towards five o'clock. So hopefully there'll not be much to do. Just be a check around the cattle and jobs are good. At. Try and find out where they've gone. Oh, Andy or Ash there. Sorting out another mix. Nice. Just about done now. A few more cows to feed AM. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, home time. So if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe, comment. We love reading your comments. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's about it. Business. Business.